intermediate Balboa class in uh, January. I'm Lainey. We're gonna go through uh, some transitions as well as just like walk through all the pieces and then I'll show a couple bonus bits. Um, so we start with our basic and we're gonna think of the drifting gently into our open round out and ins, the rotational versions. We did this a little bit more last week. And just really imagining that leaders are kind of moving away and catching themselves. And then when we go back to close, it's just like a little release and we're seeking each other's chests rather than like using all our arms. So it's five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. We have gently in five, six, seven. So just a really gentle transition. We can use that gentle transition to change the direction into something that's linear. And so I changed the direction on four or five, but I'm still using that really gentle, slow down my body and then move a new way. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Three. And I like this one because as a follower, it helps you practice keeping your hips square instead of automatically opening yourself up at the end of the come around because you don't know where it's going. It may not be a lolly. <laughs> so, and that's why it's like the leader takes more ownership of moving. And as a follower, I think more about staying in place or in keeping myself square to my partner's chest. And that way um, I can feel something new. So our out and ins that go down the line, um, in this case, that transition from our one, two, three, we would start on a five with our um, right foot for leaders and left foot for followers. And we'd have our well, one, two, two, and out and in, out and in, gather out and in, push out and in, push out and in, push. And we can change that direction whenever we want, but always pick the foot of least resistance instead of trying to cross your feet too much. Then we have our sailor shuffles. Transitioning into those would look like out and in, gather, out and in, gather. We have the kick there. Let me count. I can't do this without numbers. Because <laughs> we kick on eight. <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was our exit there. <laughs> so one more time um, from our uh, out and ins that go sideways, we would have our out and in, out and in, kick, step, 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 kick, step, 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 kick, step, 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 gather, slide, ha, <laughs> and whatever you want. And so on those sailor shuffles, we talked about our bodies kind of being a little bit more open towards the side you're stepping in the direction instead of just expecting your feet to move without moving every piece of your body and followers can kind of suggest the steps by adding a little kicking motion in your out and ins and then i could like see that and go oh that might be the thing but you can't just assume it'll go into the sailor shuffles i would use it as like a out and in and out and and i want to do the thing nope and wait, nope, and then it turns into the thing as my partner finally listens. <laughs> um, so you can use it as a suggestion or not, but mostly we're looking at that connection with our partners, staying with them with their shoulders and our bodies always staying in very much the same way with the exception of just turning a little bit on the kicking version. So thank you everybody.